What's going on guys? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and today I wanted to break down uh, a recent image that I shot for my friend and neighbor Zach who just started working for Jack Daniels uh, which is awesome for me because I get nice comfortable sweatshirts like this and some other things too. But really what I want to do is I want to break down uh, the headshot session we had. Uh, we shot at this really really cool location called the McConnell House here in Franklin, Tennessee which actually used to be the old city jail. So uh, the background actually is, still has the original jail cells, uh, which is really cool. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna jump over to Photoshop. I wanna break down kind of what we did and the light setup and kind of the strategy that went into uh, why I use certain lights in certain situations. So uh, we'll jump over here into Photoshop and right now we've just got the behind the scenes image. Uh, it's got everything going as you can see there are some of the uh, jail cells back there. Um, but what I want to do is I want to kind of build it from the back forward. I want to show you what I, uh, what I did starting with the background light. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to just bring an image up here. So right now this image is just this background light right here. So it's just the, uh, if I've got a DigiB 800 kind of angled towards, uh, there's actually a mirror back here. Uh, and then we strategically set, you know, a bunch of the Jack Daniels products on that shelf. Um, so what I've got, I've actually got a chocolate gel on that uh, strobe just to kind of warm up the background a little bit uh, and kind of just go with the uh, kind of play with the motif of the, you know, the brown uh, liquor in the bottles. So I want kind of a brown warmer uh, tone in the background. Um, so that's what the just the background light is. Uh, so we are going to just show you what I now have is the key light, which is this beauty dish uh, with a 30 degree grid on there. Uh, actually, I believe it's a 40 degree grid. It's the new Paul C. Buff uh, foldable beauty dish. Uh, it's either a 30 or 40 degree honeycomb or uh, egg crate grid, uh, grid. So basically what that's doing, the grid is just preventing a bunch of light from spilling all over the place in the image, just kind of focusing on Zach's face. Um, so that's what it looks like without the background light, just the key light. And then we're going to bring in, I've got a fill light, which is this light here, which is bouncing off of this V flat. I've just got it sitting on the bar itself. So it's actually only halfway opened up. Uh, it's just bouncing light back. And the only reason I have that, obviously just that alone, does not a very dynamic image, but it is shining uh, light onto these areas here because you can kind of see the bottles and the product in the foreground. Um, so we will go ahead and now show you the, I've got the key and the background light just so basically I've just got the key light here, I've just got the background light, but I'm not currently using this. I've got a V flat there just to bring in some light kind of on this side of him. Right now this current image doesn't have that. So we'll go ahead and bring that in. Now you can see adding in that fill, uh, we can all kind of toggle back between it. You can see there's a lot more dark areas in on the right side of the frame on his left. Uh, but when I add that fill back in, it just kind of fills that shadow in. Um, and then beyond that, we've, I'm just going to show you kind of what the image looks like just with the background light and this fill over to the side here. So that's going to be here. And one thing we're going to notice too when we just have this, uh, this fill is you start to get these kind of unflattering highlights on the bottles here. Uh, I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't really notice that when we were shooting in, uh, you know, on location, but it's not the end of the world because we do have an image where we can just kind of pull from that and add that in post. All right, so here we have the, uh, the setup with every, all the lights on, all the reflectors in place. Um, one thing that I don't love about this whole image as a whole is that when we add this fill, uh, this fill light over here, you kind of lose the mood of the image. You really lose the kind of the dynamic quality that was, we created with the background light and, uh, and kind of this side lighting. So what actually, uh, the image that uh, Zach actually ended up picking 
uh, was one like this. So basically what I did, this is the same thing, and it just doesn't have that, uh, that third fill light. Uh, and what that does is that kind of allows to you know, bring back the mood, bring back the dynamic quality of the image. Um, and you can see when you have all the lights on, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad image, but it definitely just, I don't think it has quite the punch that we were looking for. And again, the main reason we had that fill in in the first place was to light up all the bottles that would have been in the foreground here. And with this image, we kind of got rid of all those, all those props. He just has the glass and the bottle kind of to camera, uh, you know, to the left side of the frame. We could go without having that fill. And I think it's a really a much more impactful image. And then really the one that he actually picked uh, is a similar setup, but I actually brought him on the other side of the bar. Uh, and I kind of shot a little low to high and we switched out the single barrel bottle with the uh, old number seven, which is kind of the traditional Jack Daniels. And this is kind of the final image with that. So the only difference with this is instead of having the side lighting, I brought the light up over top and I'm using butterfly light. Other than that, it's relatively the same, uh, the same setup. Uh, and then I did bring the fill in a little bit further to uh, kind of right behind me. I'm standing right in front of it. So this is the image. What I'm going to do in my next video, I'm actually going to show you how to retouch this. Uh, retouching for men is a little different than women. Uh, we'll still kind of run through the frequency separation process. But what I did is I really wanted to, uh, to kind of show you the process behind retouching this final image. So tune in next week and I will uh, see you next time.